But first here tonight, the call for help in Tampa Heights. Police lights, crime tape, and gunfire in the streets there. And neighbors tell us enough is enough. The map here showing the center of the violence, Flora Brasca Avenue, and many of those calls coming to Royal Supermarket. And tonight, Heather Lee digging deeper on this, what residents want and what police are now responding to. Justin Ricky has been calling Tampa Heights home for 10 years. And something happens there and my phone starts blowing up. Neighbors reaching out to him concerned about their safety. Certain players within the neighborhood, certain members of the community aren't doing their part to make it a safe and nurturing place. Monday, Tampa police say someone in a car began firing into the air, prompting folks outside the Royale supermarket to fire back. Eventually, a woman trying to get away hit a man with her car. What I was able to gather, there were around 12 shots fired. Uh, uh, there was a a young lady that had a child in the vehicle with her. Ricky um, believes what's happening at Royale Supermarket is fueling criminal activity. Four pages of calls for service at that exact address from the Tampa Police Department shows officers have shown up 49 times over the last two years for drug activity and at least once for gambling and a liquor law violation. The option of staying open and the status quo of shootings and crime that are uh, attributed to your business are no longer acceptable. Ricky says he's reached out to the owner, hoping he'd get a handle on what's happening in the parking lot. We spoke to the owner of that supermarket who didn't want to go on camera, but he denies any drug and gambling activity happening at his business. If one of these bullets goes to one of these houses and some an innocent person gets hit. Ricky plans on taking his concerns to the city to see what else can be done. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.